My name is Eli Rubinowitz. I come from Perth, Australia. Born in South Africa, in Cape Town, South Africa. Originally, my family came from, my mother came from Dagapils, Dvinsk, in Latvia. My father was born in South Africa, but his father was born in Orla, near Bialystok, in Poland. My father's father was born in Orla in about 1887. His name was Nakum Mendel Rubinowitz, but his original name was Nakum Mendel Skaryshevsky. He changed the name because of the army and he had a brother and you know there was that scheme that if you did that uh, you could be saved because it was for a religious person, especially it was a death sentence um, to go to the, the army. He studied in uh, the yeshiva in Wormsa and then in uh, uh, Brest, Brest Litovsk, called the Brisk Yeshiva, uh, run by a very famous rabbi who was his teacher, uh, Chaim, um, uh, Chaim Soloveitchik Halevi. And, um, and then in about, I would say 1905, thereabouts, he went to Palestine, met his wife, who was many generations from Palestine, but she had family from Lithuania and from Poland as well. So from Krakow and from uh, Poland, Kedan. My mother was born in Dvinsk, Dagerpils, which I know that you've got showed me some pictures once upon a time. Dinneburg. Dinneburg, yes. But you know, when you're um, in a place and you see the people and you walk in the street, you, you get a feeling, although it's bereft, it doesn't have Jewish people. But I look for signs. So, two things. I look for the historical uh, perspective and I take photographs with my camera and I also look for contemporary uh, perspective in Jewish life. And we spoke earlier on about matching the two. So in a place like Warsaw, if I go to the Nordseik synagogue, I can see a contemporary Jewish life, but with a lot of tourists coming through. But it's, it's growing. And it's growing because, like we said once before, Orla has a synagogue. Yes? which my family uh, uh, participated in the services and whatever, it's a real shame when the synagogue is sitting there empty and nothing being done. So it's not a synagogue anymore, but it was and it still has the signs of synagogue. Maybe one day. Yeah, and you know, you spoke about reunion or about getting back to a, a focal point. I gave you an example, you should look it up, rooted in Kedan and see what a teacher has done to bring people back to their town. And also the person in the art gallery, the man that runs the art gallery, Romantis Agulis, in what he's done in terms of um, mem memorializing the Jewish thing. So whether it's the Holocaust or the cemetery or whatever. Mm -hmm. 